Karnan Jarrus, born Caleb Dume, was a Force-sensitive human male Jedi Knight who survived Order 66 during the Clone Wars. Living on thanks to the sacrifice of his master, Deepa Bilaba, on Kala, he met the smuggler Janus Kasmir, who taught him how to survive as a fugitive. Going into hiding, he forsook the Jedi ways for some time, swapping his blue-bladed lightsaber for a blaster. After working with the Twi'ek rebel operative Hera Syndulla during the Gorse conflict, Jarrus decided to join her nascent rebel cell. As Syndulla's second-in-command, the two came to develop a romantic relationship. After the Force-sensitive teenager Ezra Bridger joined the Spectres, Jarrus became his Jedi mentor despite still being a Padawan. After defeating the Grand Inquisitor in combat, Jarrus and his fellow rebels learned they were part of a larger rebellion and joined Phoenix Cell. During a mission to Malachor, Jarrus was blinded by the former Sith Lord Maul. After months of retreat, Jarrus restored his connection to the Force and repaired his frayed relationship with Bridger with the help of a mysterious being called Bendu, who taught him to see things through the Force. The reinvigorated Jarrus and his fellow rebels continued to fight various adversaries including Imperial Grand Admiral Thrawn and Maul, who sought to corrupt Bridger and destroy Obi-Wan Kenobi, the key to destroying the Sith. Regaining his confidence, Jarrus also taught the Mandalorian rebel Sabine Wren how to wield the Darksaber and helped her to rally the Mandalorians over to the rebel cause. As the Rebel Alliance escalated its struggle with the Empire, Kanan and his fellow rebels returned to Free Lothal, a world which they had a special connection with. Jarrus eventually met his death on Lothal around the year of the Battle of Yavin, during the rescue of Hera Syndulla after Governor Aranda Price ordered her walker to fire on the fuel pod they were on, sacrificing himself to allow his fellow rebels to escape. Following Jarrus's death, he became a part of the Cosmic Force, manifesting as a huge loath wolf named Dume, which appeared to Ezra several times. Later, Hera gave birth to their son, whom she named Jason. Over three and a half decades after his death, the voices of Jarrus and many other great Jedi, including his friend Ahsoka Tano, were heard by and encouraged the last living Jedi, the young aspirant Rey, to use their power to destroy Darth Sidious, the returned Emperor and her grandfather, during the Battle of Exegol. <laughs>